Hello and welcome to Paper Play with Julie Kay. Welcome everyone and thank you so much for stopping by. Today we are continuing to work on a Marguerite Miller Weekly Planner and again that's what it looks like. It's a collage weekly planner and Marguerite Miller has given us um, collage art assignments with some random prompts to create a collage each week. And this week we are already on week number 30 and if you are new to this I do have a link listed below for Marguerite Miller's Etsy shop where you can purchase the planner or you can purchase the prompts or the download of the actual um, calendar that you can download and print yourself. And each week she gives us prompts like last week um, she had some list of prompts. And then this week um, again we are on week 30 and so the prompt for this week's challenge is what do you think of when you imagine a secret code. Is it a string of random numbers? Is it a strange looking alphabet? Is it symbols in a strange order? And then she says create a collage with something that could look like a secret code. So I've been thinking about this one for a little while and my husband said well why don't you put the, the Lost, the TV show it was Lost. They had some random numbers that they used in that TV show and I thought about doing that with stickers. And then I also thought, well, as kids, I don't know if you guys ever did where you wrote notes to your friends and you had kind of a substitution code type thing where you substituted the letters for numbers or different letters. And um, then you would each have a key so that you could um, decipher the code. And so I thought, well, that would be just fun just to do a basic, a basic um, code like that. And so then I was going through my scrapbooking paper, trying to find stuff that had numbers or letters on it. And the first thing that I came across actually in my scrap pile from a scrapbooking piece of paper was this and it has the alphabet on it. And so I thought, well, I could, um, this is the lowercase letters right here. I could just cut off this part right here with these letters right here since it's not quite the whole, you don't see all of the alphabet. And there's enough space right next to each of these letters that I could take um, some of my rubber stamps and I could stamp next to it what the substitution was. So I would just start somewhere like, you know, I could do an A and then I could stamp the Z and then you'd start over A, B, C, D or just somewhere on there, um, some sort of random substitution type code. So I think I'm going to do that. And then I, somehow on here I will collage this onto the page, the key. And then I thought, well, what kind of scrap papers can I add to it or stamp on to, to come up with something? And so I did find a little while ago I created some projects with this Child Bella paper. And so I have some scraps and also some random pieces of paper that are still part of the collection. So I have some scraps here. And as I was looking for this paper, this was part of the paper collection. I thought, well, that would be perfect because these are all just letters on here. So I could just cut them out and use this to spell out whatever I want to spell out using my little code that I come up with. And then I thought, well, okay, so then I need to come up with some sort of sentiment or saying. And so I went through my rubber stamp drawer and looked for a pretty sentiment or something inspiring. And so I found this one that says, be your own kind of beautiful. So I'm going to see if I have enough space to cut out these letters and somehow put them on here that, to say, be your own kind of beautiful. And so I'm going to do that. And then... Um, so I'll cut these out and then I also have some strips of paper that I think um, these will fit onto if I cut them out just to have a little bit of a layer on them. I had these strips in my stash already for making gussets so I might try to use those. And like I said I have other random scraps that I can add in to just finish off the background of the collage. So I'm thinking I'm going to try to to do that on here. So I'm going to turn the camera off because you guys don't need to watch me stamp all my letters on here and cut this off. So I'm going to start with that and then um, I'll cut out these letters that correspond to my decipher code here. So I will go ahead and do that all off camera and when I have everything completed then I will jump back on and we can try and um, layer everything out together with the the code 
letters on here. So hopefully that makes sense. And so I'm gonna go do that and I will be right back. Okay, I'm back and I did do a little bit of work since um, I last recorded on this layout. And I did go ahead and cut out all those letters and using my substitution codes, I did write out be your own kind of beautiful. So again, like A equals R, B equals S, you know, C equals T, D equals U. So I did a substitution code. And then I decided as a, after I did that, um, I did start playing around with my scraps and I've only glued a couple of them down onto a piece of coffee dyed paper that I will go ahead and glue onto my background piece. And this was kind of the layout I'm thinking that I'm gonna go for here. And I'll put this piece right there up top because this beautiful world word that I substituted in with uh, random letters here for the code, um, it barely fits across the bottom. So I had to make sure that however I laid this down, I had to have room on the bottom for this. And so I'm thinking then if I put this here, I could kind of do something like glue these down right along here going down. And then what I was thinking is I would maybe take my circle punch and I would cut out a little tab right here. And then also my tab punch. And I stamped that be your own kind of beautiful. So I'm thinking I will maybe have like kind of a pull out interactive thing up here that'll pull out. Um, I'll cut this down a little bit just so then I have that what it actually says be your own kind of beautiful if I want to pull it out if I don't want to do the work of actually um, figuring out the code. Um, so I'm going to do that. And then, um, so I did punch out a couple different tabs to choose from. I don't know yet which one I'm going to do. Maybe this one. Um, not sure. And then I had in my stash from a long time ago, I picked up a whole bunch of stuff at a rummage sale. It was all flowers and stuff. It was a pack. And I think it came from um, a company called King. K and Company, um, and these were a little, you know, cut out stickers. And so what I'm thinking is once I glue down my letters that there might be a spot or two to, to add a couple of these little flowers or a butterfly embellishment. So um, I'm gonna do that too. So I'm gonna go ahead and off camera, I'm gonna continue to glue down this layout right here. And then I'm gonna go ahead and add, you know, the letters into here wherever they fit for be your own kind of beautiful something like that something like that and then I'm thinking that there will still maybe be spots somewhere on here to put like a butterfly or a flower um, so that's that's my plan and then I also go ahead and I will punch this out off camera and then I'll go ahead and glue it down and cut out this so that I can stick this inside my pocket when I glue it down I'm, and maybe I'll do that with you guys just so you can see where you only glue half of your page so then you still have room for a pocket up here so um, I'll go ahead and finish this layout and add the words and then I'll come back on and do the rest of it with you guys on camera. Okay, so I am back and I've glued most of it down. I just have the bottom word um, beautiful to, to, to glue down, but I'll do that at the very end. And so I did make, did glue on the scrap pieces of paper onto a tea dyed piece of paper. And then I also cut out with my circle punch up here. And so I'm going to very carefully add glue around the edges here. So hopefully I can still pull this out and then it'll say be your own kind of beautiful. And I kind of made it uh, like a bookmark. And then I will also put this on the top right there. And so um, just to make sure that it lines up nicely on the back, what I did go ahead and do is I lined up my bookmark on the top here and I kind of did a pencil mark right here and right here just to make sure that I only put just a tad bit of glue on the side here and then over here so that this will easily slide in and out. So 
Um, let's glue that down next. And like I said, I'm going to barely put any glue on this side right here. Just doing it as thin as I possibly can. And then I have a little bit more leeway over here to add glue and down here. Then the hope is that there is room for this to easily slide in and out up here. And there should be. I don't like to put it in until I know that it's fully dried on the sides. And so um, I did decide I did punch out both of these with my tab punch from the scraps paper. But I like this one with the uh, little words on it. I think it looks a little bit better on this background than the one with the flowers. So I'm going to go with that one. But I'm going to wait to glue that on until I can put this in here. So while that's kind of drying, I think the next step is to be... I'm going to glue this down now that I have this in place. Like I said, it's a little bit longer than the page, but that was the best I could do with all the letters. So I think that'll work. And then to help me out, I wrote the words on the back sides of all my little strips just so I got my words in order on here, my little code words here. And again, I was just doing a substitution code for my code um, with the prompts where, you know, so like if I looked at... Um, You know, S right here, so if I would go down and look for the S that I stamped, it would be B. And then if I go to where the V is, um, right here, it would be the E, so B. And then the next one is the word your own kind of beautiful. So it's just a bit kind of a basic substitution code. A lot of times... Um, I probably normally would have gone with numbers here, but since I already had the paper that had the letters, I went ahead and did that. And I would have liked if I could have had all the the letters be, you know, short letters or capital letters, but it wasn't a choice, so they're kind of intermixed. But um, just kind of a fun little collage, I think, with a little little substitution code right there. So then the next thing I wanted to do. Um, after that was, I, like I said, I had these couple other little random things that somewhat matched this paper. Um, and so I pulled out a couple of them sitting right here to try and glue down. I'll probably, I'll probably pull off, just so it's not so bulky in here, I'll probably take off the foam piece and then glue it down. I do really like, I have two butterflies, and I think this one's a little big. Um, so I do have this one, so I could put that one in one of these spots. So I kind of like it there. And then I do for sure want a flower. Um, and I have a couple different flowers. A couple of these that were in there. I think these ones are too big unless I cut them down. So I'm going to set those ones aside. Um, so this is kind of what I'm left to play with. And I have two of this one also. So if I wanted to double up on that one. Um, the little one obviously would fit in a couple different spots. So I could maybe even put that one on the bottom. Um, that one would maybe fit there. And I like that one. I mean, that one isn't bad either. And then this one, which I think I like this one. This one's the one that my eye keeps on being drawn towards. So I kind of like that one right there. And then it's just to decide. Because the other idea I just thought of um, is I could actually just put this on top of the tab up here too. So you would see this one up here. And I don't know if how I like that. Or if maybe I just put this one 
you know, down in the corner maybe. I kind of like that too, just to add a little more interest down there. But you know, like I have one more of these, so I could put could put two down there. I think I'll stick it with a three, so it's an odd number. So I like that. So I'm gonna go ahead and glue those down. But again, I'm gonna since they have the foam on the back, I'm gonna see if I can take that off just to take off some of the bulk for the this little planner. So we have quite a few more month or weeks to go before we're done with it. And since I have this glue out, I'm just gonna go ahead and use this glue, my tacky glue. Ooh, I like how that's turning out. I think that's really cute. So hopefully this is pretty dry. Usually tacky glue is fairly, fairly fast at drying, and I think it is, so that we can go ahead and finish this and call it done. So that's still gonna pop in there pretty nicely, and it's not gonna go too far down, so. So what I'm going to go ahead and do is I'll just take my glue stick here. I just kind of loosely put it on so that I can still adjust it a little bit. Yeah, that'll work. And I, I don't think I mentioned it earlier, but I did distress a lot of my edges using this Tim Holtz Broken China ink. Um, I did go around my edges with that off camera. So yeah, that's still drying, but um, but that's how it'll look. I think that looks really cute. I don't know what you guys think. I like how that one turned out. Again, I wasn't quite so sure about this week's prompts, but this turned out better than what I was expecting. And again, I just kind of did a basic substitution code for um, for my code where I changed letters where A equals R, B equals S, etc. And um, so again, the prompts for this week, for week number 30 is what do you think when you imagine a secret code? Is it a string of random numbers? Is it a strange looking alphabet? Is it a strange, um, is it symbols in a strange order? Create a collage with something that could look like a secret code. So again, this is a code, it's a substitution code. So. And then again, I went a little bit step further and I created the little pocket up here just so I could pull it out and remember what it is if I don't wanna do the work to, to refigure out what the code is for. So um, hopefully you, you guys enjoyed this week's episode and I'm gonna look forward to watching um, a few other people's interpretation of this prompt to see what they came up with. Um, again, I really like how it turned out. So thank you guys so much for watching and hopefully I'll see you back again next week for week number 31. Until then, have a wonderful day and happy crafting.